70 years after writing 20 love poems and a song of despair, Chilean Nobel laureate Pablo Neruda is one of the world's most translated poets. He died 12 days after soldiers raided his house following Chile's 1973 military coup. But he left behind not only his work, but his three unique homes. All of them reflect Neruda's eccentric personality, his love for the ocean, and his passion for collecting unique objects, large and small. Since 1991, Neruda's homes in Santiago, Valparaíso, and Isla Negra have become museums, attracting tourists from the world over. Their entrance fees keep the museum running. But the pandemic forced the museums to close, and now the Neruda Foundation says it's broke and in desperate need of donations, and especially tourists, to ensure the poet's legacy stays alive. I don't even want to think of that possibility. We hope that our efforts to draw attention to the situation will reverse it. The legacy of Pablo and all that it implies can't disappear. It's incomprehensible. Neruda was close to writers and artists of his time, such as Picasso and Gabriel García Márquez. The Mexican painter Diego Rivera gave him this portrait of Matilde Urrutia, with whom Neruda was having a secret affair at the time. Hence, Neruda's profile subtly painted into her hair. With the pandemic slowly subsiding, tourism is seeing a resurgence the world over, except here in Chile. This is the only country in the world where foreigners are not only obliged to be fully vaccinated, but also to have their vaccines validated before attempting to enter the country, at least a month in advance. And even then, it is a cumbersome and awful impossible exercise. European and Latin American travel agents say coming to Chile has become too difficult. We are seriously considering whether to continue promoting Chile as a destination unless the policy changes. It is a beautiful country, but tourists cannot run the risk of losing their money and holidays because of this bureaucracy. For now, the only option is philanthropy and the hope that restrictions on tourists will be lifted in order to save what is considered part of Chile's and the world's cultural heritage. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.